Hello, welcome to a new video. Um, today, I'm bringing you an unhaul. I, if you saw my March haul, um, I got a lot of books for my birthday. Um, and whilst I did have space for them, just, I feel like I've got a lot of book, books on my shelves that I have read and no longer want, or I haven't read, but I'm not likely to. Um, so I had a little sort out, um, and I'm going to explain my reasonings for getting rid of certain things. So let's just go and we'll, we'll count them after. Um, so first up, we have Make You Mind This Christmas by Lizzie Huxley-Jones. Now, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed this. I think I made the mistake of reading it just after reading Kiss Her Once For Me um, because I absolutely adored that one with every fibre of my being and I compared this one to that because I think that one was better. So for that reason, I just don't think I'll reread this, which is a shame because I really enjoyed this and it's a great plot and I highly recommend it. I just, I there's no point me keeping it if I'm not going to read it again. Next up is Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Now, this was one of the last Fairy Loot books I got and I have kept it because I was intending to read it. However, um, a month or two ago, I found out the author has actually put out a statement to say there is no sequel. And I've seen so many people say, but this ended on a cliffhanger. Um, so I don't want to read it. It's put me off of reading it now. So I'm unhauling it without reading it. Um, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of Bone Cries um, Moon and Bone Cries Dawn by Catherine Purdy. I, I think the first book came out in 2020. Was it 2020? <laughs> 2020. Um, I've had both books for this long and it's just not happening. If I can get the audiobook for the first book before the end of April, maybe I'll read it and these might not get unhauled depending on what I think of them. But currently these are going because I've had them for so long and I just have no motivation to pick them up. So yeah. And then I think this is the final like special edition I have. Um, I'm getting rid of For Her Consideration by Amy Spalding. I read this this month, this month. Um, and whilst it was a four star, there was a thing that really annoyed me about um, the conflict. And I just, I'm never gonna reread this for that reason. Um, so it's going. Next up is Slay by Brittany Morris. Um, I really enjoyed this back when I read it. Um, I just, I don't think I'm ever gonna reread it. I've read it once and I, I don't think I'm gonna reread it. I do think it was a five star though, but it's not the sort of five star that I'll reread. So look, I need space. <laughs> um, next up is The Roommate by Rosie Denon. Now I absolutely loved this. In a previous unhaul, I got rid of the sequel because I DNF'd the sequel. And for a while, I was like, yeah, but I loved the first one, so I'll reread the first one as a standalone. It's not going to happen because all my brain can think of is I hated the second one. I was so bored and I'm not going to love this one as much if I reread it. And I don't want to ruin ruin my like love of this one. So I'm just going to get rid of it because there's no point. Next up is You and Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. I loved this book. Um, I got rid of Beach Read previously because I absolutely hated that and two-starred that. Yay for that. Um, I'm keeping Book Lovers. And I now have Funny Story, I think. I have Happy Place. Funny Story is the one that's just come out. Um, but as much as I loved this, it's not like a favourite book that I'm going to reread. So again, don't see the need to keep it. Even though I really enjoyed it. I want it to go to a better home. And for someone else to have a chance to love it. Um, next up is Love Secret Center and Love on the Stage by um, S.A. Domingo. Now, I loved these books. Um, this very, like, Christmassy type thing and then, like, summery music festival thing. I absolutely loved these. Um, however, I just, I won't reread them. They are YA romance. They're very cute YA romance, which I loved a few years back when I read it. Um, I just, I'm not going to reread it. And I would much rather these go to someone else who may end up finding a new favourite. So... Next is Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma. I hated this book. It was so bad. Um, there we go. The Long Game by Elena Armas. I'm so sad about this um, because I was so certain I would love it. Got it signed and personalised, didn't I? Um, 
but this just wasn't it. Again, highly suspicious and unfairly cute by Talia Hibbert. Wanted to love it. Again, I'm keeping the um, the Brown Sisters trilogy because I absolutely love that. I would love to get rid of Danny because I did not enjoy that book at all because of the ending. Um, but I can't, if I'm getting rid of a book in a series, I'm getting rid of the whole series. So I can't do that. But I love Chloe and Eve enough to put up with Danny being on my shelves. So that's fine. Um, it wasn't a bad book. I feel like I should say that. Danny wasn't a bad book. I just didn't like the trope thing at the end. I wasn't a fan. Um, it's very much a me thing. It's not a bad book. I know many people that love it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad book. I feel like I always need to reiterate that because I'm not saying it's a bad book. This did not like the ending. <laughs> it really wound me up. Um, so I'm not going to reread it because I don't, I don't want to. Um, the Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. Now, I loved this book. It was a very high four star. However, it has a major trigger for me. Um, and that is sort of like a massive part of the story. Um, so I didn't, as much as I knew that going in and I was prepared for it. So I was mostly okay with the book. I'm never going to pick this book up again um, and I don't want it on my shelves looking at me, reminding me um, of the book. <laughs> so as much as I loved this, I don't want it on my shelves anymore, but I loved it. And it's the only Ashley Poston I'm getting rid of and I feel like it's a very valid reason. I mean, any reason for getting rid of a book is valid, but you know what I mean. Next up, I'm getting rid of Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I hated this book with like pure rage I, I just hated it to the point I don't want these anymore I'm getting rid of it happened one summer and hook line and sinker I loved these when I read them however it's the same thing with the roommate if I reread these my love for them is now tarred by me hating two Tessa Bailey books because I've DNF fixed her up and then two starred secretly yours and hated it and I don't want my love for these to be tarred by that because as it stands, I love these books. So there's no point in me keeping them because I don't, I don't want them anymore. I'm honestly so sad about it because I loved them. Um, next up, this is possibly the quickest the book has ever got onto my owned and then left it because it hasn't actually gone onto my books I own spreadsheet because I only got it a week ago. Old Flames and New Fortunes by Sarah Hogle. I hated this book. Hated. Which, reading both of these in the same week was great. Was great. I hated it. Um, so yeah, that's going. I only got it a week ago. Literally a week ago from when I'm filming this. And now it's going. It's going to Chloe, so it's fine. But it's going. <laughs> Um, and on the Sarah Hogle note, I am getting rid of Twice Shy by Sarah Hogle. This is not for the same reason I'm getting rid of um, Tess Bailey. Because I'm actually, I'm not getting rid of You Deserve Each Other. It's there somewhere. You can't see it. It's right at the end. Um, I'm not getting rid of You Deserve Each Other. Because I do think if I reread that, I'm still going to absolutely love it. However, Twice Shy, I enjoyed this. But I won't reread it. It was cute when I read it. But now I've read it. And that that's fine. Um, so this isn't a this isn't a case of I hated this one getting rid of everything they they wrote. Um, it's a case of I liked it, but I won't reread it and don't want to keep it. But I hated this. But it doesn't it doesn't correlate. I was already planning on unhauling this before I read this, so it's fine. Um, next up is the only manga um, I'm getting rid of. It's Flying Witch Volume One. This was cute. I just. I was a little bit confused and I don't think I'm going to continue it unless I can find it from the library or something. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm a bit sad because it was gifted, but I can't keep every book just because it was gifted. A few of these have been gifted, but again, I can't keep it just because it was gifted. Um, next up is Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. I have had this book for literally the longest time. This was, I think this was gifted to me. Um, I've had it for the longest time. It's been on a self-destruct and then I just never got rid of it. So I think it's time because I'm, I'm, I'm not reading it. And on that note, I am, there is, I'm going to say now, there is some middle grade on here because I just, 
I'm, I'm a bit pickier with my middle grade now, but we'll get to that. Um, a Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. I really enjoyed this book, don't get me wrong, and I will be picking up the sequels this Christmas. However, I don't need physical copies of these. Um, I actually think I might see if my um, brother wants this for his kids because they're sort of at the age that this would be fun to read. Um, so I actually might see if he wants this one because I think this would be a cute book for them at Christmas. Next up is Dragon Rider by Cool... Cornelia Funk. Now I actually only bought this because I was part of a book club at some point and we were going to read this and then I decided to leave the book club <laughs> um, before we got to it and I just I was only going to read it for the book club. I actually have no interest in it so it's going finally. Um, and then I have two books by Lisa Ludecki. Um, I've got The City of Lost Dreamers and The Forest of Ghosts and Bones. I really enjoyed the um, Shiver of Snow and Sky and Storm of Ice and Stars. There was a duology that Lisa Ledecky did um, and I really enjoyed them. So I got these, but um, I just, I don't think they're an autobiography author for me. I really enjoyed those books, but I don't know why I got these um, because I keep reading, like I, I every so often pick up the books and I'm like, I actually, they sound great, but they don't sound for me. So I don't know. Um, I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of the two Black Dagger, Black Dagger Brotherhood books I own by J.R. Ward. So it's Dark Lover and Lover Eternal, which books one and two. Um, I'm not dedicating myself to this because I, I just I don't think I'm going to like this. I'm a lot pickier now with books than to when I actually got these two books. And I just... If I decide to read them, I'll get them from the library because this is like what, a 22 book series. And if I'm going to dedicate myself to a series that long, I need to love it. <coughs> Ice Planet Barbarians. Um, and that's ju I just don't think that's going to be it for me. And if I was to read the first couple and end up loving them, then I'm sure I can get them cheap enough because there's some really good deals on box sets. So it's fine. Next is Beast's Heart by Leaf Shellcross. I've had this for the longest time and I just, I never keep, I never pick it up. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but I just have no interest in it. So what's the point? Um, then we have Ever Alice by H.J. Ramsey. I honestly don't know why I have this because I just, I don't really have any interest in Alice in the Wonderland retellings. And this looks like a more historical version and I don't want that. So I genuinely don't know why I have it, but I won't have it for long. <laughs> um, then we have Remeza by Radia Hafiza. I loved this book and I do still want to read the sequel. And I just don't think I'm going to reread it. And it could go to like a kid who might end up loving it. So to the charity shop. Next is You Let Me In by Lucy Clark. Um, this is a thriller and I, so I actually read the e of this and I actually don't know why I ended up getting the physical copy because I don't really reread thrillers. There are some that I might, but I just, I don't think I would reread this. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it because it was a great thriller. I think I like, it was like four or five star for me. Um, but not going to reread it. Um, next is The White Out by Gabriel Dillon. I got this off a friend because she was unhauling it and it's actually signed to her. Um, I just, I don't have any interest in it anymore. Um, it's a YA thriller, I think, but like it just, it doesn't interest me and it's like almost 400 pages and I just, no, I keep saying just, I need to stop. Um, this one might upset some people and I'm really, really sorry. I loved this series. I, I literally have just finished book four yesterday. And I loved the series, but it was like a solid four star series and I'm not going to reread them. So I'm really sorry, but I'm getting rid of the Raven Cycle series. Don't get me wrong. I loved this series. I loved the ending of the fourth book. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to reread them. And these take up a lot of space. I don't, I don't know. If, if, if this was a solid five star series, I would have probably kept them. Whether I would reread them or not, but it, it it's not. So they're gone, go. Um, next up is Your Turn to Die Tonight by, no, <laughs> Your Turn to Die by Sue Woolman. Um, this is another one I got off a friend and I just have no interest in it anymore. It's a YA thriller, I think. 
no interest anymore um i'm finally gonna get rid of ace of spades by this is the arc i forgot i had the arc yeah i've heard very mixed reviews about it and i just i don't know if i i want to so i've had it for so long like i think i got this arc in a book box club which says it all really um because this come out in june 2021 and i definitely got it before that the um author letter in the beginning of this is from november 2020 so i think i got this december 2020 i'm not gonna read it let's be real i am so sorry for the lighting change that is really really frustrating it has been cloudy windy and rainy and the sun has just come out and i don't know how to fix that that's really frustrating um, but we're near the end we're near the end um next up is where the world ends by geraldine mccorkran um i think this is like a thriller i'm not sure but i don't have any interest in it anymore um next up is wonderscape and legendarium by jennifer bell i love these books don't get me wrong but again they are middle grade and I just don't think I'm going to reread them. And I actually, I'm going to ask my brother if he wants them for the kids. Because I think that these are so fun. They're like Jumanji but futuristic. And I think they're really fun. And I think they would be really cool for my nephews. And my niece. But like she's like only a few months old. So, you know. Um, so yeah. They're going to, I think they're going to go on the poll to see if they want them um then we have orion lost and adam two by alistair chisholm now i loved orion lost it was like a five star um and i bought adam two literally just because it was the same author and it sounded good but i don't think i'm gonna read this and i don't think i want to reread this and my nephews really like space stuff because like they love star wars they love star trek so they might love these so i'm gonna i'm gonna see i'm gonna see and then the final book is Elysium Fire by Alastair Reynolds. Um, I got this for like one pound in Forbidden Planet in their sale section. It's book two. <laughs> um, I'm really annoyed <laughs> because it sounded really good. Um, but it's it's book two, so it's going because I I'm not going in search of book one in hardback. That is too much effort. So let's do a quick count of how many books I'm getting rid of. So there are 44 books I'm getting rid of. <sighs> kind of annoyed I couldn't hit the 50 mark, but I genuinely don't think there's anything else that I want to get rid of right now. Um, so we're just going to leave it at 44. But I, that is still a big dip in books, <laughs> considering the size of my March um, haul. So I will say... Um, unless it's one of the uh, Fairy Loot editions or Afterlight editions, um, all of these will be up for grabs. I'm probably going to have them until the end of April, beginning of May-ish, depending on when I get a chance to go to the charity shop. Um, so if there are any books, and also this one is already claimed. So if there's any books that you would like, I'm happy to send them to you if you just pay for postage. Um... So if you just let me know in the comments or if you want to just like private message me on like Twitter or Instagram, I am more than happy for that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.